Bonjour tout le monde, hey, aujourd'hui ça va être en anglais par exemple parce que j'adresse ça à des amis à moi, Murray Diana chez Hellfire. Donc, soyez pas choqués là, oui la suite va tout se faire en anglais. So, hi Juliette, hi Hot Sauce Lovers, hi Hellfire fans and especially hi Merlin Diana. I'm going to be doing, of course you're in my kitchen, so I'm going to be doing a little cooking. Uh, I've done that uh, before of course, uh, that recipe. And now I want to share it because I'm going to be doing a little something along with a fire. So, uh, actually, here, I got some of it ready, of course. Uh, it's a donut, okay? So I wanted to make a donut with uh, peppers in it. But, of course, it's a donut, okay? It's going to be sweet, it's going to be mild. So I chose the Aggie pineapple to put into the donut. Now, uh, what I did was, of course, Aggie pineapple, okay? Uh, here. Those are Aggie pineapple peppers, okay? A very productive plant. Now, the pepper has about 35,000 uh, on a scoville scale. It's about like a cayenne pepper, okay? But it has a very delicate, subtle, and sweet fruity flavor of pineapple. So I decided to use that in my donut. So I made the dough and then I added some uh, Aji pineapple powder to it. Now what I did also when I prepared this, uh, of course what I'm looking after uh, for the recipe is the pineapple flavor of the pepper more than anything else. So what I did was open each pepper and I took the seeds out because the seeds don't have that pineapple flavor. I took those out in order to get just the pulp, just the part of the pepper that does carry that pineapple flavor. And I created a, a powder out of it to add to my dough. The dough is already ready, uh, is ready okay? Uh, I'm not gonna redo the dough, I've done it in another uh, video. Uh, and I'm okay the dough is really good whether you use it with peppers or not so I'm gonna give you the recipe okay so you can always you know take it down and use it now I did add edgy, uh, pineapple in there uh, in such a quantity you can do whatever you want uh, I figured that having you know a floral or earthy uh, flavored pepper would be a, a right match for making a donut. That's why I chose the edgy pineapple. Okay, uh, now I did put the oil to heat up, so this way we'll save some time. Okay, the recipe for the dough, that's, I, I'm gonna give you in different measures, okay? Uh, that's two and a half cups of flour, okay? Or if you prefer, 350 grams of it, okay, that's flour. Then we had uh, 40 grams of sugar. That's four tablespoons of sugar. We had an envelope of yeast. Okay, just an envelope. Boom, we throw it in. We add a teaspoon of salt. Those are all the dry ingredients, uh, except for, of course, if you want to put peppers, then you'll add peppers. Uh, what I did was add a, a tablespoon. That's three teaspoons. And you get a fruity flavor. You can't really say that, it, oh, it's pineapple, but it is a little fruity. And with the donut, of course, it's only 35,000 uh, on this couple of units, on this couple of scale, I mean. And, uh, you know, I, I don't do donuts like a wagon wheel. No, 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 no. Ah, too much trouble, too much complicated. I just flatten out the, the dough and make like squares and it, it's so much faster and you know it's a square donut instead of a wheel donut you know like a lifesaver so uh, okay first thing i do when i have this is to put a little oil on my cutting board okay so this way the dough won't stick to it and because i spread it yeah that's enough because i spread it with my hands uh, my hands will also be covered in oil so that the dough won't stick to my uh, fingers, okay? Now, okay, we have the uh, dry ingredients. Now, the liquid ingredients. We need 
two eggs, okay? That's just large size, not extra large, not medium, just large size. Two eggs, uh, which is the standard, of course. We also need uh, 150 milliliters of milk, which is two thirds of a cup. We also need 30 grams of butter, okay? Melted. Uh, so 30 grams, that's two tablespoons. Now I'm gonna show you something. A lot of people ignore this, okay? But on a, oh, let me get a, yeah, I'm gonna get it from the freezer because it's gonna be new. Look at the freezer, yeah, right here, okay. Butter, when you wanna measure butter, see, I told you the recipe requires two tablespoons of butter, which is 30 grams. Now, how to measure that easily? The pound itself helps you, okay? As you can see, this is like a scale. If you look closely, okay, half of the pound is actually a cup. A quarter, see, that's a quarter here. That would be half a cup. And then an eighth and an eighth would be a quarter and a quarter cup. Now, there's 16 uh, tablespoons in a cup. So if you need two tablespoons of butter, very easy. You cut that quarter cup, okay, down. Now you know there's 16 spoons to a cup. So to a quarter cup, there's four. So if you cut this guy now in two, you end up with two tablespoons. So you do have the measures right there on your pound of butter to help you measure when you're cooking and doing recipes, okay? So, uh, two tablespoons of butters. Now what I do, I take the milk, I put the 30 grams of butter in there, I want it to melt, and I put the milk and butter in the microwave for a minute. The milk will heat up, melt the butter, and then I'll add the two eggs to that and shake it well. So all the dried ingredients are mixed together, all the wet ingredients are mixed together before you start really mixing uh, the dough. Now, uh, I've shared that recipe with other people and some people uh, just didn't do it right. They thought that the, the dough was, you know, too thick. See, that's almost like glue, it's almost, uh, you know, it's really a thick dough, but that's the way it should be, okay? And as I said, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to start wasting time, you know, cutting circles and making holes in it and creating donuts, you know, the way they look at Duncan. Uh, no, 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 no. I just, boom, lay it flat, okay? Now you can feel all the little uh, pepper pieces in there. Oh, yeah. We're not going to make too many because what I want to really show you is not the donut itself. It's the icing we're going to be making to put on donut. Okay, so, bang. That's good enough for me. Okay, boom. As I said, when I cook, it's going to be fast, easy, and then it's got to taste good. So, we're going to first two parts. See, fast and easy. <laughs> that was fast and easy. Just to spread it out and, you know. I don't even have a, uh, a baking roller, so. Okay, now, see, all I do is actually cut pieces, square pieces out of it, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, is that hot enough? Let's do a little test. And keep watching, the good part is coming right now, okay? So, oh yeah, it's hot. Okay, I have a plate here with some paper towels so we can drop the, the donuts on there when they come out of the fryer, okay? Oh yeah. And, boom, we need this. Okay, so let's just throw a few in there. Okay, boom, boom. By the way, when I put this in, okay, 
I hit the oil, then I let it go forward. Okay, forward. This way, if it does spill, it spills away from me. If I take it towards me, then the spill may splash on me. So always whoop, push it towards the, uh, away from you. Okay, good. I'm gonna put a couple pieces again, whoop. Uh, a little piece, whoop. Okay, that one's ready. And that one's ready. There you go. All right, guys. Oh, the fun part is going to be here in just a couple of minutes. You know, because it's the icing. The icing. Of course, the donut itself already has some peppers uh, in it, okay? But it's very subtle, you know, 35. Uh, oh, yeah. See, those bites are not really big, okay? It's just bites. Yeah, I'll just put in a couple more, okay? There you go. Let's see how easy that is. Huh? Easy. You're always pushing it away from you. Boom. Away from you. Boom. Okay, so let's set this aside. Now comes the really interesting part, and that's the icing, okay? Now, I did those uh, before, and I used a sauce that I actually sell. Uh, <laughs> it's being produced for us by a uh, a company here, a local company. It's called Shack Dairy. Okay, yeah, we'll go. We'll go with just these. Okay, we don't need to do more of that because we're really interested by the icing. Okay, icing coming up. Do -do -do. Nice big measuring cup. You need some, of course, icing sugar. Do, 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 do. Okay, I won't do a load, okay? Uh, I live by myself, so if I do too much, uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, a little more, you know? Okay, boom. All right. That's it, about a half a cup, okay? Way. What else? Oh, 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 oh. One thing we need is oh, move aside, move aside. Come here, yo. Boom. Uh, pure vanilla. <laughs> vanilla extract, okay? I never use the, the, the sugar directly because ah, it tastes like sugar. When you add vanilla, you have that little. Ah, I don't know, it's sweet. It's like, almost like velvet, you know, in the mouth. Uh, it changes the, the flavor and the texture of the sugar. Oh, about, I'd say about five drops, okay? And half a cup, and then we need to add more liquid. So as I said, when I first did that uh, recipe, of course, uh, I was hoping to get, you do, as again, you do get a fruity flavor out of the donut, but you can't specifically, uh, you know, pinpoint pineapple. It's just mm, fruity. So uh, at first I did this icing with my Shaq Berry. This is a sauce that contains uh, raspberries and black cherries. So raspberries, black cherries, pineapple, you know, those flavors would come in, you know, so nice, but again, I didn't really pick up the pine pineapple in the donut, so maybe I should have add, added more peppers, but then uh, it's gonna become too dry, okay? So, but this time around, I said, okay, we're using IG pineapple. I'm not getting that pineapple flavor. How do I get a pineapple flavor? Well, I'm gonna get it with my icing and some devil's gold. Hey, hey, so, 
Look at that, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's open up. Now, when you make icing, you gotta be careful because when you start adding the liquid to the sugar, it goes from almost solid to totally liquid real fast, okay? It's just a matter of a few drops and that's it. You know, you can miss the, the your recipe. Well, actually, it's going to be too liquid, so you're going to have to end up adding more sugar to it to make it more consistent again. Yeah. Coming down, oh yeah. Okay, because the pulp of the pineapple always clogs up a little bit. So you shake and then you hit it on the side. So that's gonna make the pulp kind of sit back. And of course the sauce can really flow after, okay? So you don't want to put too much. Oh yeah, we start with this much. Get the, uh, oh. Get a spoon here. Okay, so okay, that sure is that enough? Uh, a little more. Like I said, don't overdo it when you put liquid because when it does go liquid, it goes boom. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good to put some more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. So don't forget a little bit of vanilla to start with, okay? Like I said, I used about uh, half a cup of sugar, so I used about five drops. Of that, then I were really close. That eh? as I said, when it turns, it turns at once. Boom! See now, oh, yeah, we're almost done with the dry stuff already. Mm. Okay, now what do we got? See, oh. Just a little bit too thick if you want it to run easily when you pour it over your donuts. Oh, just enough. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's just going to be perfect. Okay. And, oh man, you smell the sauce through the sugar. Ah. Uh, that's gonna be so good, okay? So, again, what were we doing? We were doing some icing for donuts with Devil's Gold, okay? Now, those donuts that do contain some Aji pineapple. So as I said, it does bring a fruity flavor to the dough but you can't specifically taste the pineapple. But now with my devil's gold icing. Oh man. See, oh, I should take one, you know, plain. Mm. Those things are moist, see, they take the Plates back right away. Mmm. So good. Mmm. And now with the pineapple icing. Mmm. This is so good. Okay. Oh man. Pineapple icing. Ugh. Mm. 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 
if you've never tried this before, making icing out of hot sauce, guys, you gotta try this. It's so good. And this little fellow here, now my donuts do have a pineapple flavor. And man, it's sweet all the way. It remains, you know, a dessert. With a kick. Mm. But, so pretty much, don't forget, the IG pineapple is a 35,000 SHU pepper. So, buy signs like that. One bite, not for you. Two bites, oh, it's waking up. And when you get to the fourth one, you really start picking up the burn from the edgy pineapple. But when you make a sauce like that, you pick up an instant burn from your icing. And it's delicious. Okay, one more before we go. Uh, Mother Diana, uh, come on guys. Especially Diana, you gotta try this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so good, man. Mm. So, one thing I've learned over the years is that Hellfire always has a place in your kitchen. Always, always, always. And whether it's desserts or main courses, see that? We just did icing with devil's gold and it's fantastic, okay? So, and that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. I wanted to show you that, hey, there's another way you can enjoy the sauces and that's with your desserts. And it's so sweet and so good. Guys, take care. Hey, Diana Merle, it was a pleasure to invite you over in my kitchen. And I hope you're gonna try this. You know, ASAP, because, oh man, it's so good. And everyone else, of course, that like uh, Hellfire Sauces, give it a try. You'll love it. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, well, bye-bye.